Hi, this is my 9-11 story. Um, I know if you've watched a lot of these today, you might not be in the mood to watch it, and that's quite all right. Um, I know it, it was on a Tuesday, and, and I knew that even before I even really looked into it, because it was the day that, it was our deadline day for the newspaper. That's the only reason I could remember it was a Tuesday. Uh, I'd gotten to work right after the first plane hit, before they realized what was happening. And I remember getting to work, getting my computer ready. We still did pay stuff, so we didn't do our stuff on the computer, but I got stuff ready on the computer and printed out and took it into another room. But I remember uh, a man who worked there named Dale, who is no longer uh, with us, he uh, came in and said, some kind of plane hit the World Trade Center in New York. And at the time, it was very, you didn't quite know what was happening. So I turned on the radio to hear what was happening, and, and um, I started doing my work, and then all of a sudden, you know, the second plane hit. And then it was it all, you know, all hell broke loose. And uh, so we were trying to figure out what was going on. We had the radio playing really loud so we could hear, and then our office manager realized we had a little TV in the back room, little square black and white TV like this big. So we went back there and plugged it in, and we were gathered around it trying to see what was happening. We went back to work listening to the radio. Um, and I was sitting in my, I had a tall chair next to this table, pasting up a page. And the tower started to fall. And it, uh, we were like, what's happening? So... We all went back, and at this time, our sports editor had gotten there. I don't even know why he was there that day, because usually he wasn't there. He usually did all this stuff on Monday night, but for some reason, he was there Tuesday morning. And it was me and um, our graphics person, our, our office manager, the sports editor, our circulation guy, and we were all just in there looking at all the stuff on the screen, kind of like we were watching a movie. It, it, was, it was unfathomable that it was actually something really going on. And... Um, I know, you have to wait. Talking about something serious. Um, so I looked at the sports editor and I said, we're going to have to put this on the front page in some in some respect. Which was the one of the very few times, because our paper is a very small local newspaper. It's one of the very few times that international news uh, or, you know, widespread national news made it in our paper because mainly it was just a little mom and pop paper and so um, that was on the front page of our paper in the corner you know sending out our thoughts to everyone there and then like everybody else you just spent days watching it on the television it was just crazy I today I have not turned on the TV at the house I I had to watch it all once I don't care to see it all again you know I uh, I can't believe it's been 10 years. The last 10 years have gone fast. Amazingly fast. I was 29 years old when that happened. Um, that was in my pink hair phase. I was just getting my pink hair was almost gone. You have to wait. We can feed her. And it was just really... And an un, un, you're watching an unimaginable thing happen. I guess we as Americans were so used to watching all this kind of bad stuff happening elsewhere, but it was very odd to see it happening here. But that's where I was on 9-11. I was at work at the newspaper, huddled around a little television in the corner in a back room with very bad reception. It was very grainy. Um... And as soon as I got home from work, I think I got home about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and it was just turn on the TV and and watch what really happened, because it was, it was insane. Insane. So that's really all i got to say about that. I'll be back tomorrow uh, talking about some South Tube stuff, because, you know, time's ticking down. And... Uh, Bye.